What's going on everybody? Chad Belling with Banded Brands and the Fat Life Television. It's 2021 spring conservation snow goose season. A lot of us are tired. We just spent September, October, November, December, and part of January chasing mallards and puddle ducks, divers, Canada geese, snow geese, speckle belly geese, and now we get this extended conservation season. No limits, no plugs in our guns, the use of electronic game calls, and there's a ton of snow geese in the flyway. Some of the things that I like to keep in mind first and foremost is the age of snow geese. And it's different than human beings. A lot of times, younger kids, teenagers, they're in a hurry, they're in a rush, they got a ton of energy. They wanna be first in line. In the snow goose world, it's the juvies, the younger geese that are more patient during the spring migration, the reverse migration. Those adults know that they need to get back up to the breeding grounds and start the breeding process. It's almost like the rut with elk or white-tailed deer. The juvies are sitting behind going, hey, we can't breed until we're two years old. We're in no hurry to get back up. We're going to stay down here, party, have some fun, eat as much rice as we can in Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, before we start to make our way into the boot hill of southeast Missouri and then all the way up that Mississippi flyway, that central flyway. And that's what I like to key in on. So maybe ask your outfitter. If you're, if you're doing it by yourself, if you're a DIY snow goose hunter, make sure that you think about going a little bit later to ensure that you catch those juvies on their track back on that reverse migration. Some of the other things that I like to keep in mind is the snow line. A lot of times, even the, the oldest geese and the youngest geese will not go above that snow line. So if it's around the I-80 corridor through the central part of Nebraska, Iowa, that area, they're more than likely gonna be there and south of that. So you gotta remember, where is the snow line? Where is the biggest and largest concentration of snow? And the biggest and largest concentration of snow geese is gonna be right below that. Some of the other things that I like to concentrate on are the wind directions and the moon phases and the skies. I like to be out there on sunny, bright skies. I like to have a wind. I like to have a south wind. I believe that those snow geese like to get on that south wind and ride it up the flyway. Some people say that they like to hunt a north wind and they're going to buck that wind and fly into it. Either way, I'm going to have a north or south wind, bluebird skies and sunshine, and I want it to be pretty crisp in the morning. And it's amazing to see all of that white and silver and black, and they just start grinding on top of you. And the next thing you know, 200 of them turn into 2,000 of them, and the spring migration is on. So there's a couple things to keep in mind. The age of the snow geese, don't be in a hurry to get out there. You might not want to be in the central part of the country in March. You might want to wait until the beginning of April. You might want to stay down the end of February and the beginning of March in the Arkansas, Boot Hill, and Missouri area. Just play it by ear. Sometimes they all go at once and they get, they get way north a lot faster than years previous. But concentrate on communication and staying in touch with your outfitter or your local contacts in the area you're going to hunt. Know where that snow line is. Know what the wind's going to do. Know what the moon face is going to be and try to get out there on a bright sun day with the wind and some brisk temperatures. I hope all that helps guys and girls. Have a great 2021 spring conservation season brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Look at all them chickens.